from their mother. Right. They put him out because their father slept with a harlot. They put him out. Uh, and, I, and I tell you, when he had nothing to do with it from the beginning, this man is suffering because of the needless act of his father. And all of this, this was done out of selfishness. It was done out of false feeling of shame. It, it was done out of greed. And I tell you, greed is one of the passions, is the passion for money. Is that you want more and more gripping your heart. Oh, I wish y'all could see it. How I'm making them feel like an outcast. And can I tell you today, this is me in this picture. His brothers were unwilling to divide their father's inheritance with their big brother. I'm talking about greed. Half brothers and sisters blaming a child for their parents' foolish act. I'm talking about greed. I've been there. I know how I feel. As a matter of fact, there are those of you who are sitting in here right now. You are recipients. Amen. You found out later after your mom or your dad died that you had another brother. Uh, or that you had another sister. Yeah. And instead of learning to come to God and embrace them, you are angry with them. But the person you ought to be angry with is dead God. You walking around with an attitude talking about you ain't going to get none of my can I tell you, greed will cause you to go to hell. Make me sick. I talk to husbands and wives, and it, 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 it bothers me when I hear mothers and fathers talk about my stepchild. Or my wife, or my son's child. Listen, listen, there is no separation. When you got the mama, you got the children. If you're going to call yourself liking the lady or loving the woman, the same love you give or I wish I had somebody. It may not have been your seed to get that child there, but if you got the mama, you got the child. Sometimes, it's something else that's interesting about the story. Because ain't a whole lot said about the mom. Ain't a whole lot that was said about this prostitute. Not even as much as her name. The only thing we know here of that, the fact is that she was a harlot. Now, after reading the text, and I'm almost through, it suggests to me that Gilligan had taken the boy. Yeah. From her and read him himself. And, 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 and because she just passed off the scene, but well, apparently, Gilligan died. All right. And when he died, those boys that his wife birthed to Gilligan yeah. grew up, and the Bible says that Jephthah, his youngest brothers, put him out. All right. Told him to get out of town and go boy in a town near Amon. The name of Tor. In other words, they sent him to live right next door to Israel's enemies. Yeah. Lord have mercy. Yeah. I'm talking about how bad family would do you. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. In other words, Jephthah had to live yeah. in somewhat of a desert life. All right. Amen. Ended up gathering men like himself. Yeah. In other words, he was living like he was living in guerrilla warfare. Right, and because of this, Jephthah ended up gathering men uh, like himself. In other words, he organized the very first bloods. Yeah. Right, right, or the very first troops. I don't know whichever one it was. Yeah. Amen. But the Bible refers to them as worthless men. Right. Now you read it when you get 
following me. It's right there in the text. Amen. Now watch this. And he gathered them unto himself because they needed a leader. And you know, I read in the book of Proverbs chapter 22 and verse 6. And again, I know this ain't Mother's Day. I don't know why the Lord brought me here, but I, I, this is helping me become delivered. Because thank God, I may not have had a silver spoon in my mouth. I may not have been able to wear the best of clothes to go to school. I may have been teased and picked on and talked about because I wasn't in a home with a mother and a father. But I thank God for leaving me because the Bible says, train up a child in the way that he should go when he becomes all he shall. There are some folk who ridicule me even now. Look at him. Every time he turn around, he got to have on a new suit. Every time you see him, he train cars. But let me tell you something. If you knew how long I had to wear Dollar General Specials, if you knew how long Nothing. 